Ambergas Key in Belize has been named top island in the world by TripAdvisor several times. Its colorful claptrap charms and magnificent coral reef, a magnet for visitors from around the globe. But the coast isn't the nation's only calling card. Belize is in fact a many splendored thing. It's the perfect place for a little R&R, &R, reef and rainforest. We can be on a Mayan temple that morning, and we can be swimming in the sea in the afternoon. Lucy and Mick Fleming are bona fide local legends, creators of the very first eco-retreat in the Belizean jungle. They refer to their lodge at Chaw Creek as wildly civilized, and indeed no one's roughing it in these luxuriously appointed palapas and the new rainforest villas. But things weren't always so plush out here in the bush. We started from absolutely from scratch. You couldn't get much more scratch if you tried. When Mick and Lucy first trekked out here 40 years ago, they hacked their way in with a machete. There were no roads. All your supplies came up by dugout canoe or were carried in by horse. We had a machete, we had a shovel, we had a rake. That's how it all started off. They started a small farm, supplementing their meager income by stringing up a hammock for the random backpacker. And they would just show up. And it was these backpackers on this backpacker trail who learned about us, came, stayed, helped, left, told other people. Today's luxury retreat is a far cry from Chaw Creek's humble hippie origins. There is a treetop spa and stables for horseback riding. The Flemings have created a 400-acre nature reserve with a butterfly museum. But they've never lost sight of their roots. As a counterbalance to the $1,200 a night suites, Chaw Creek offers a $65 glamping option, meals included, at their McCall River Camp. What do you think, Eliza? Do you like being in the jungle? Uh-huh. Ten raised, screened-in cabins, no electricity or running water. We never wanted to lose sight of, of the people or that sector of the market which helped us to get up to what we're doing down here, the more luxury end of the market. It has been a long, strange trip for these one-time adventurers. It's all been a privilege because who else gets to do this? And who else gets to build their own reality, live in it, every day try to, well, every day make it work. And I just feel a tremendous sense of gratitude. It would be easy to get lost out here in the jungle. That's why we've put the call out for some local expertise. Enter Fidelio Montez Jr., a local guide who works with Road Scholar, the Boston-based educational travel company. The first thing we learn about the jungle from our Road Scholar Long, bumpy car rides come with the territory. The road comes with a complimentary massage as you go down. It's an adventure, you know, everything that happens within the country of Belize, it's all an adventure. Our first stop, Big Rock Falls, a dramatic cascade cutting through one of Belize's only granite outcroppings. Looks like New England, eh? except that a little bit warmer. It's one of those places, it's pretty magical, it's pretty heavenly. You know, it's one of the unbelievable places, right? Unbelievable indeed. But Mother Nature isn't the only one creating wonders out here in the jungle. Mayan temples spring up like mushrooms out here in the bush. Getting there can be half the fun. A pilgrimage to the magnificent ruins of Shunantanich requires a river crossing on a hand-cranked ferry. Another ancient Mayan site has popped up right in the middle of the busy little town of San Ignacio. The entire city was actually just recently discovered in the 1950s. Cajal Pech, the place of ticks. The place of ticks, that's what it translates into. On this day, Cajal Pech is largely empty, ghostly and grand. Hard to imagine that for 2,000 years, this was a bustling nerve center, religious and civic, of a sophisticated Mayan civilization. Here, this is kind of like the White House in Washington, D.C. We're disappointed when a sudden downpour cuts our visit short, but our road scholar guide and rainforest veteran has a typical Belizean response. We're just happy. Rain don't stop the reggae jam. Belize. 
All right, you have to go explain the House of Ticks. The Place of Ticks, <laughs> yeah, exactly, Cajal Pet. So before it was unearthed in the 1950s, it was a cattle grazing area, and they had a lot of ticks, so Place of Ticks. Back to the Flemings, the Lodge at Chaw Creek, we asked them if they were proud of what they had accomplished there. They said they've been too busy to ever, ever stop and reflect upon what they've done, but they were really on the leading edge of ecotourism. They've built an amazing thing there. It's gorgeous. All right, coming up, trust us, you haven't been to a party like this before.